Welcome again to another lesson with your teacher, Teacher E. So last time we tackled about the rules and some examples about the use of word, the word any and some in English language. So for today, we will use uh, the word some and any uh, in a text or in a conversation as an example. Uh, as an example conversation for you to further understand the use of these words in English language, okay? So, I prepared here some conversation. So, for the first conversation, I want you, Rosanna, to please read uh, the conversation with me. First, you are, you are Alan and I am Chris, okay? Yes, are you ready? Three, I'm ready. two, one. Chris, do you have any extra pen? I'm sorry, I don't have any. You can ask Mike. I think he has some extra pens. That's okay. Thank you, Chris. Okay, for this uh, conversation, thank you, Rosanna, for reading. So here, again, we use any in negative sentences with the word doesn't, don't, didn't, never, and other negative words. So in the conversation, uh, there is a sentence there that uses uh, negative words like don't. Like, I'm sorry, I don't have any. Here, any, here, uh, any pen. Like what Chris told to Alan that he didn't have any pen. So again, we use uh, the word any if there is a negative word like don't, didn't, doesn't, and other. So for now, Elena, can you please give an example of a sentence with uh, negative words and uses the word any. You can try. For example, I'm sorry I don't have any extra money. Or I'm sorry I don't have any extra shirt. How about you? Can you please give? Rosanna, did you have an uh, example? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I will try. Go on. I'm sorry I don't have any extra pen. Okay. That's the same as the example. I'm sorry I don't have extra pen. Or you can um, also say that I'm sorry I don't have any uh, anything or anything that you can think of, right? So did you yes. understand the first rule? Yes, ma'am. Okay, for the second conversation, again, let me go back to the previous conversation. Okay. I'm sorry, here, again. This is the next conversation. Um, Elena, you are Caleb and I am Kim. Are you ready? So first, I... Okay, three, two, one. Caleb, there is someone at the door. Can you please look? Okay, ma'am. Who is it? I think it is the delivery man. He left something for you. Okay, thank you, Elena, for that wonderful uh, participation. So here, in the conversation, we generally use the word some... And with the words that starts with some, like someone, somebody, and others in affirmative sentences. We also use the word some when something or someone is unknown or unfamiliar to us. So in the conversation, there are two sentences that uh, follows that rule, the two rules. First, Caleb, there is someone at the door. Can you please look? Here, the use of some for someone is that uh, the speaker used someone because he didn't know who is knocking, who is that someone at the door or is that someone knocking at their door. So also, the second one, I think it is the delivery man. He left something for you. So here, it uses the word something that uh, starts with the word some in affirmative sentences. So this uh, second sentence is an example of affirmative sentence that uses the word that starts with some uh, specifically, which is something, okay? Did you understand the two rules? The first one, 
when yes, you didn't know about when you didn't know who or who you are talking about or you didn't know or didn't care who you are uh, pertaining to so can you give, please give some example for the like the sentence number one like using someone okay for example i i receive a call for some guy some guy someone or uh it is always that you didn't know or you didn't care about who you are talking or pertaining to or you didn't know who is that someone you are pertaining to did you understand yes ma'am okay for the next conversation okay uh Rosanna, you are Mike and I am Tina, okay? Can you please read? Yes, Three, two, one. Mom, I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? I'm still cooking, son. The food is not yet ready. I'll look in the fridge. Oh, yes. I think there are still some pasta left from, the, from yesterday. You can eat that. Thanks, mom. Okay. Here in this conversation, the rule is we use some when we don't care about the quantity or the amount. Like we don't care how much that something and we don't care how many or how much that something. We only use some. We only care that there is something or there is some left, but we didn't care how much or how many it is. And we also use any in most questions like, uh, do you I do you have any pen? Do you have, um, like we use any when we are forming questions. But there are some exemptions, as I said, uh, on the previous lesson. For instance, we when we make offers or requests, we use some. Again, when we make offers or requests, we will use the word some. For example, uh, in the conversation, Caleb, uh, um, the first speaker asked if can I have something to eat. Here, can I have something to eat is a form of uh, is a form of request. He is requesting her mother for something or for something that he can eat because he is hungry. And then her mother replied, "I think there are still some." pasta left from the yesterday so her mother knows that there are still some pasta left yesterday but he didn't she didn't care how much or how much pasta left all he care all she cares is that there is some pasta that her son can eat while she, he while she is cooking i also prepared here some example of offers like uh like what i said we use some in questions if we make an offer or a request uh, a while ago it is an a request and now it these two sentences is an example of offering something to someone the first is would you like some juice the speaker here is uh, offering uh, someone with some juice also Another, do you like to play some games? Here, the speaker is asking the one he is talking if uh, that someone wants to play some game with him. It is an offer. A while ago, this sentence, can I have something to eat, is a request. So, again, we use some and any. We use some in questions if it is an offer or request, but we usually use any in most of the questions. But if we are going to make a request or a offer, we will use the word some. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, another rule. Usually, both the word some and any can only be used with countable plural nouns or uh, uncountable nouns. So the word some can be used in countable plural nouns and the word any can be used in uncountable nouns. 
For example, I have some extra food here. So we use the word some because extra food can be an a, a plural countable noun. Here, I don't have any extra food. It, we use any because there is a negative word don't and also it is uh, not countable because there is any there is nothing left like the it is uncountable we cannot count if there is none uh left so i think that's the end of the lesson i hope you understand it uh well the use of some and any in a conversation uh the rules and some examples uh see you again on the next lesson don't forget to Take care and be safe. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye. Bye, mom. Thank you.